Welcome back to Site Tech in your Mountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I wanted to show you an option that we have. If someone has a 450 megahertz base, but you only have a 900 megahertz receiver, for example, my R780 right here is a 900 megahertz. Some of the newer ones have both the nine or the 900 megahertz and 450, but I don't have that option here. But our customer is running a greater and all their machines out here that actually are 450 you can see the smaller antenna on the right side their base station is over in the provo area which is a long ways from here but all their machines out here are on that and they asked me to come out here and as built this parking lot along the curb and gutter because the model doesn't match anymore and when i needed to come out and do that realizing that i only had a 900 megahertz receiver there's an option that you can put on your data collector here so I've got two boxes on the back here, which are radio modules. The one on the left without the antenna is for my two four megahertz, if I'm gonna to hook to a total station. But Trimble has an option here for a EM940. And you can see there's an option on there for the 900 megahertz and the 450. So basically, in essence, what we would do here is I would hook up Bluetooth to my actual receiver like I would normally do. But instead of doing radio and receiver by using this radio to talk to the base, I'm actually going to use this radio on the back of my data collector to talk to the base. It's an option that's a heck of a lot cheaper than actually doing the full one up at the top here for both. It's just a radio module. It still works the same on the data collector here where if you go ahead and connect to a device, if you go GNSS, you still go ahead and go Rover. Bluetooth and you connect to it, but in the correction method option here is where you actually switch and change. So at the very bottom here, once it's actually been installed and put on and the driver's on there, there's an EM940 option. If you go ahead and use this, you can bend the antenna to get the angle you need to. Then you can go ahead and see the radio wireless mode. It changes a lot in here. But now you can go ahead and match up your either Satel or your Trim Talk, whatever it is. Ours is 8,000 BPS, and their channel out here for radio channel is 453.300 or 3,000. And as soon as you do that, then it'll actually use this radio to communicate to the base and a Bluetooth from here to here. Just an option that we wanted to show you and throw out there if you're going to continue to use the same gear that you have but need this option. So there's the Provo City base. Go ahead, yes on Quick Connect and the rest of it, and hook up the rover. And now we are good to go. So now I have my radio connection on the top right here that looks all the same. And you just go ahead and do the same work that you would always do, but just in a different setup here. I just wanted to actually show you that that's an option to add this on the back to be able to go either 900 or 450. So hopefully this helps for anybody that are using it. I know at least in our area, there's hardly any. There's only a couple people that are really using the 450 megahertz, but we do have people that come in the area, customers that have had the 450 like this one for quite a long time. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain on using the EM940 radio as an option on your data collector.